Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's that time where I share my favorite things from this month, so let's get right into it. Number one, Snapchat. I think everyone and their mamas have this app. How can they not when it's so friggin' addicting? It's definitely not for everyone, but I personally enjoy it since I love to document my day in various ways. It's like a real-time vlogging app minus all of the tedious video editing. I feel that I'm able to be myself on it and share snaps of my day with my family, friends, and you lovely people. I'm able to get updates from some of my favorite people and the fun thing about it is that you're able to learn more about someone's personality and what they like to do through their snap stories. Wanna spend a day with me? Okay, we well, have no choice. <laughs> I'm gonna go run some errands so I'll take you guys with me. Okay. Also, Snapchat's new update adds a lot of amusement to any snap. If you're not already following me, you can find me at Char Vienna. Number two, Anchor Astro Ultra Compact Portable Charger. I specifically bought this charger for my trip to SF because I knew that I would be using my iPhone a lot on the go and lately the battery life on my iPhone has been draining a bit faster than usual. I don't have a clip of me using it during my trip, but it was a total lifesaver. I was able to charge a few times until it completely ran out of power, which was good enough for a whole day. I bought this on Amazon for a really good price. I got it for $15, which is much cheaper than a lot of brands I've seen, which can reach to about $50. All you have to do is charge it on your computer and once it's fully charged, you can just hook up your phone charger to the IQ socket and you're good to go. Number three, Coco Trio SF 2015. Of course, I had to add this to my September favorites. It was a very much needed weekend trip. I was able to get a lot done in those four days and I just had the time of my life with one of my favorite couples. Coco Trio, that's how we roll. <laughs> So I won't go too much into detail about this trip on here because it deserves its own video. Once I've completed my SF mini sketchbook, I'll be able to show you all of the video clips in real speed and all of the fun snap stories I've created. Number 4. Bite Beauty's High Pigment Pencil in Rhubarb. I bought this on my SF trip and I gotta thank my gal B for pointing it out. She seriously knows what lipstick shades I'm obsessed with. It's a really nice plum rose shade which I think complements any skin tone. I'm usually not a fan of glossy lip products, but this one is an exception because it keeps my lips moisturized throughout the day. I honestly didn't know too much about the brand, but at first glance, I knew it would be a brand that I would love. When I got back home, I did a little research on the brand and I was so happy to find out that they're 100% cruelty free and they're Leaping Bunny approved. Number 5, Muji Notebook. I mentioned this in my SF haul and it deserves to be mentioned again. I don't know what it is, but I'm so in love with this little notebook. I bring it with me everywhere I go. I love that the paper is white, which is what I prefer the most. The paper in this Muji Notebook is quite thin, but that's not a huge problem for me since I don't plan on applying watercolor to the pages. I would say though that Micron and Muji pens do bleed, so after various pen swatches, I found that my cute Kiki K gel pen had no problem at all. I love using this for journaling, quick urban sketches, and jotting down my thoughts in random notes. Number 6, Goodwill Distress Shorts. I always say this, but this seems to always run true every time I make a trip to Goodwill. And that is, the thrifting gods are on my side. I say that because at least 98% of the time, I look out on the perfect items. Like this pair of distress shorts. I've been searching for the perfect pair of distress shorts all summer. A lot were overpriced and some just weren't distressed the way I like it. So when I saw this pair, I had a little moment and immediately gasped to myself when I found out that it was in my size. Lucked out for sure.
I tried them on in a fitting room and they seriously fit me like a glove. I kind of cried inside. I got it for $5.99 and it was in really good condition. So those were all my favorite things from September. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and let me know what your favorite things were this month. I'd love to know. Create every day, stay motivated, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!